He's dreading it. Basically, this is kind of our last chance. It'll be okay. All of this effort would have been for nothing. So the day has finally come and we are going to our second appointment at the Tree of Life today, the fertility clinic that we are using to extract our eggs. So today is my first appointment. We're gonna do my egg extraction and retrieval and all that first because it's kind of a process and you have to inject these really strong hormones. So we knew that like it would be easier if like one of us went first and then yeah. could be there for the person and then vice versa. And we chose me first because I'm having like a lot of issues with um, like my reproductive area. Um, I've been on testosterone for four years and just in the last year I started having, having issues. I can't wait to get them out because the sooner I get them out, the sooner I can start getting on medication to help suppress the estrogen in my body etc so yeah this is I'm, I'm excited to start this but I'm also really scared because obviously as a trans man this is not comfy for me like at all yeah so we're gonna take you guys with us in the process but basically Jesse needs to inject himself every day for 10 to 12 days we need to go into the clinic every two three days and he needs to get like an ultrasound situation and we need to check the process but I feel like it's gonna go great and I know that there's a lot of crazy side effects like anyone injecting themselves with this many hormones it obviously is very mental and it's very physical but i have great hopes that you are going to be a champ at this i just know you are i have like a really good gut feeling and i'm glad we're not doing it together because if we were both doing it and we are both like kind of going through it we wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to be there for each other the, the how the hormones affect me mentally like i can take the pain and cramping and anything like that um i'm i am concerned about that because it already is hard as like a trans person with all the other things that already go on so then when like intentionally injecting female hormones is going to be like just the, even the, like saying that out loud is hard so i uh, that's the part i'm worried about but simultaneously i think about it in the sense that it's 10 days to 12 days of my life and in the end i get a little baby little baby so, and then i get to grow to babies for taking out his babies and then i'm gonna grow them for you so and i've been through worse in my life yeah. so i feel like i can i can do 10 to 12 days of even yeah. if it's hell like i can do it it sucks because like the process to take the eggs out like kind of land right on his birthday so we had to move things around for his birthday so that's yeah. kind of a bummer but we're really we, excited to get it started and take you along with us because i know a lot of people don't like show this process nobody shows this yeah and he was like even trying to look up trans men who have done this and it's so hard and mm -hmm. there's not a lot of information out there so mm -hmm. we got you guys yeah let's go let's go i love you Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going in. Tree of they're, life. They're giving us this tree of life. <laughs> this is where they're going to take it. my <laughs> Our babies are coming out today. That's our baby. That's our baby. This is the welcoming show. You look really cute. You look really cute. How you feeling? I feel ready. Ready? Yeah. Nice. I wish we were going straight mm -hmm. into you. The view's nice. Yes, Tarzana. <laughs> Tarzana, pride. This is a better art. I don't mind if it's in the same room. Jesse went pee, but this is the room. This is the dreaded room where we check the eggs. At least there's a nice view, honestly. No, he's really dreading this. He's dreading it, um, but I have a really good feeling and I'm gonna be there for him no matter what. So I'm just excited to get them out and then he can go on all of his medications to figure out everything that's going on with him. And then we're gonna do me and then we're gonna put them inside. Ready? This part's up. Really this part is not the fun part, no. But it was quick last time, so hopefully it's quick again. I love you so much. Okay, yeah, so I have to do that every week anyway, so I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, sub Q, tiny little needle. If you don't look, you won't even know you're injecting it. Exactly, so this is just a little bit different hormones. You're used to already certain hormones, so, you know, I think you'll be doing good. Okay, yeah, perfect. What is happening during the procedure? Um, predicted outcomes about, like, what to transfer when we get to that point that part um, what we do how we fertilize the eggs which i know we're not doing right now birthday coming up 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just had a really crazy appointment. Really, when we went in. I feel like this was gonna be you being emotional. We are literally checking out and we are about to pay and leave. And she was like, do you know the risks of just freezing? And I was like, no, we weren't We weren't really told the risk as much, so. You, you can either just take out your eggs and you can freeze those indefinitely. So then later down the line, you're like, oh, I met someone and I wanna use his sperm or whatever. You can then get the sperm put it inside that frozen egg and make essentially a little baby, which is the embryo. Um, the other option, which they told us today, was that as soon as I do the surgery and they do all my egg extraction, let's say I get eight eggs out, they would immediately get the sperm donor, sperm, put it inside the egg and create the embryo in that moment and then freeze the embryo, which is basically the little baby. So the difference is like freezing just the little vessel in hopes that those survive later on or freezing the full baby. And obviously the full baby is way more viable. You have a way higher chance of actually getting that baby and impregnating Francesca with it and it being a successful pregnancy. So one of the reasons why this is a big deal is he ended up telling us he thinks based on my like six follicles that I have that I might only get eight eggs, which is not a lot because out of those eggs, if I were to just freeze them, maybe like one or two maybe would be viable embryos later on versus let's say I made eight embryos, he was saying more like four or more could survive. So the it, it's basically a way better chance if we go ahead and make embryos immediately. And then out of those two that would survive if we do it the way we were planning to do it today, they might not stick in my uterus, I could miscarry. And if I miscarry by the time we do this, he will be on progesterone for multiple years and having to do this process again with the it's hormones. And Basically, this is kind of our last chance for me, for my DNA and my eggs. We there was all these percentages being thrown at us and all of a sudden, oh, I thought we both were like looking at each other like, whoa, this kind, this changes things. And the reason we were just gonna go ahead and just freeze my eggs is sperm donor hasn't really given the final like 100% yes, I'm coming down to do the genetic testing and to give you the sperm sample. So we were like, okay, we'll just freeze my eggs and then when he's ready down the line, we'll make the embryos and we're finding out it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, I, I don't know if we discussed this already or told you guys, but Jesse has, he's a genetic disorder carrier, three, do we tell them yet? Mm -hmm. So he carries three genetic disorders and if he carries these, genetic disorders or even just one of them or one of them um the baby has a 25 percent chance of basically not living past a few years old we wouldn't risk it so we we could get the genetic testing done tomorrow and then in two weeks when we're ready to take out the eggs we can fertilize the embryos right there but what if i'm not ready what if he says no what if his genetic testing comes back and he has a disorder but we've already frozen the embryos so now the embryos are Basically not healthy. unusable. We have yeah. to call him. We, we have, have to get call him after this, after yeah. this and get a hundred percent confirmation that he's down and that he wants to come in tomorrow and tomorrow. do all the testing and leave the sample, etc. Yeah. So if he says no, he says no, we have to rethink everything. We have to rethink. So I think it really de depends on how this conversation with him goes. We have three endings here. He could say yes. He could come in tomorrow. We could get his sperm in two weeks. We could fertilize the embryos, the genetic testing comes back negative, and we're great. Mm -hmm. We're amazing. We're that's, golden. That's our hope. <laughs> that's our hope. It could go another way. We could do all of this again, and the genetic testing come back positive. We have to discard the embryos, and then Jesse has to go on the hormones again. Next month. And then we have to re-get new eggs. And, and a new sperm donor. And a new sperm donor. Or he says no. And in that case, if he says no, we would probably wait to start the hormones and figure, out a, figure out a new sperm donor, potentially use a family member of mine, um, but we would have to do genetic testing on them as well. So, so basically if he says no, it would be another month because we would yeah. need to get someone else to, we do kind of know who it'd be in our mind. So it's not like we're just like willy nilly being like, oh, we'll get that person. Like we already have had talks yeah, with people. Talks, yeah. So he basically our backup um, and we would have to have him do the testing and then we would redo my whole process. Yeah, and we wouldn't redo your whole process again before we had genetic testing confirmed from the next donor. Because obviously we're not doing this a third time, no. but it just makes more sense to get it over with 
now instead of waiting a year or two years and then the one embryo we have doesn't stick and then I miscarry and then we all of this effort would have been for nothing. When I do the retrieval, I'll probably get 30 eggs or 20 eggs. So the percentage chances of me having issues is really, really small yeah. as opposed to him because obviously he's been on testosterone for four years. So which we knew was we a risk, knew, yeah. but considering that I've been on testosterone for four years, he was actually really surprised mm -hmm. by my follicles. So I was assuming that meant like, oh, I'm gonna get 20 eggs. Yeah. But when he told us, oh yeah, like single digit, we were like, oh my God, one of our one shot and we want it to be a good shot. Like we don't want to have to. <laughs> it's okay. It's really stressful. I love you so much. Yeah. It'll be okay. I thought we were gonna leave here and he was gonna be emotional and I was gonna be positive and I was gonna say, I love you, you got this. And now like, it's like reverse that we're like, I feel, like someone even knows what's gonna happen now. I feel how you feel, but I, I guess, yeah, my positivity is trying to make up for- That was me before, I was being so positive. This, you know what this reminds me of? And I'm crying in a car right now. That, that girl who like, told her son to like cry for the thumbnail. Oh, yeah. She was like, no, 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 do this. <laughs> She's usually crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. All right, so we're gonna make a phone call and let you guys know what the plan is next. I almost feel better that now I know how important this one round is. Whereas like before I was like literally get my 30 eggs out and then I'm getting a hysterectomy. Now I'm like a little more cautious because I'm like, oh my God, this, this could be my last shot to ever making like my biological like DNA child again, which I, I, I wouldn't, if we just use Francesca's eggs, I would be okay with it. But I know like she really wants it and we've talked about this. Look at this nose. I need to recreate this nose. I need this nose. I need this nose. <sighs> I guess we'll find out a lot in the next 10 minutes. To be continued. To be continued. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir.